It's estimated seven out of every 10 items in the average grocery cart have indeed been genetically modified. The term genetically modified foods or genetically modified organisms is most commonly used to refer to crop plants created for human or animal consumption using the latest molecular biology techniques. These plants have been modified in the laboratory to enhance desired traits such as increased resistance to herbicides or improved nutritional content. While there is much debate on the pros and cons of genetically modified organisms on the whole, most scientists believe that genetically modified foods do not present a risk to human health. Are there any benefits to genetically modified foods? Yes, they have, as I told you, one that better, sh like longer shelf life. Okay. They are also, they could be resistant to insecticides. For example, Hawaiian papaya. They did that uh, on papaya. They introduced a, a virus in papaya and that can uh, give rise to a papaya which is resistant to the insecticide. Do the foods taste any better? They, uh, they have uh, nutrient value also increase. And yes, some, some of them like tomatoes, for example, they claim that they taste better, the texture is good. Uh, in India, they have done actually, uh, they have introduced uh, rice with beta carotene in it to increase the nutrient value, the rice, and rice is a staple food in India. And also they have a genetically modified cotton produced in India. There have been many studies on the pros and cons of genetically modified foods with no conclusive results. What can we do to protect ourselves? Well, first of all, I feel that there should be regulation about genetically modified foods so mm -hmm. that they're not everybody and anybody can just go and you know start doing the experiments. There should be particular regulation involved like FDA. So they should guide and they should make some rules so that everything is kept a close eye on and so that nobody does the experiments like you know wildly and doing all these genetically modified products produced because there are certain speculations which are like for example if you if somebody is allergic to certain kind of food and that DNA is introduced into another food so then they become allergic to that food also so that way there will be a cross reaction and the allergen like the, that, the food which is genetically modified which will be a strong allergen, a stronger mm -hmm. allergen and that can give rise to a life threatening allergic reaction. Also they should be properly stored in the, in the supermarkets if they are available they should be on a separate uh, aisle altogether and where it should be properly labeled. We should know exactly what kind of DNA has been introduced into this, how much it is, and what is the nutrient value. So mm -hmm. everything should be labeled very accordingly. And then we have choice. We can still use the conventionally grown. Mm -hmm. uh, we can always choose those products which are conventionally grown, and we don't have to use genetically modified. Mm -hmm. So I would uh, ask my patients if they have food allergies to be away from genetically modified food okay. because they should have, they, they can have um, a severe allergic reaction. I'm here at the Creek and Cathedral Bistro and I'm joined again by Chef Marta Hill. So lovely to have you here and so Thank happy you. that you invite us to join you. We love, we love coming here. Thank you very much. Oh. I enjoy you. Well, coming. good. I'm glad. We'll keep coming then. And today our focus is genetically modified foods and are they safe? Okay. And we've talked about a little bit. We'll talk about organic. And what we're, we're having today is the grilled breast of chicken. Yes, I've got a boneless breast of chicken. Okay. Uh, local organic. I got in contact with my supplier to make sure that their source was not a gen genetically modified product at some point Absolutely. in the past. Okay. Over and above that, I'm going to be making a wild mushroom risotto mm -hmm. to go with the chicken, a marsala sauce to go over the chicken. Yes. I love that so. you have the color selection. That'll be really nice. You have like red, yellow, and orange. Yes. I love that. Yes. You always tend to do be very creative in all your recipes. Well, it's my nature. The thing I think is, I like that. we eat with the eye. Yeah. 
Absolutely. We eat with the eye, and if it if it looks good, it's going to taste good. Right. If it smells good, we're even better off. Now, with the chicken breasts, I'm going to start right now. They were marinated in some sage, some mm -hmm. garlic, and a little bit of olive oil. And for any of the viewers that think about genetically modified foods and what that is, it's technically where they've inserted, they've changed the DNA of the food, so they've added a little, a different gene to that food. <sighs> And if you look in your supermarket, you'd be surprised, but on the shelves, there are about 60 to 70% of the foods are genetically modified. So you probably would like to look at the label. Pretty, pretty important. Yes, actually, these days I'm finding that I'm looking for the not GMO yeah. symbols. Yeah. Because it's scary. They, you know, they do things like inserting salmon it, genes into yeah. tomatoes to increase shelf life. Right, right. And we don't really know if genetically modified foods are necessarily safe or unsafe. There's a lot of studies out there. Uh, there's a lot of interesting work and, and research that's being done. But if you have any concerns about that, it's very easy, relatively. Try to shop organic, right? Yes. Try to go to those farmer's markets as well. And try maybe to plant your own garden at home. Those are ways that you can get around that if you think that's a concern for yourself and your family. Okay, so I had a criminy, a Portobello, the portobellos I had to get in dried form. Okay. Some so oyster three mushrooms. Three types of mushrooms, right? And that sizzle is because of the juices that were left. Right. I have my pre-prepared risotto. Risotto, yes. So I went through the process and I cooked it to about 80% and then I stopped the cooking process. Ah, it cooks, okay, so then... So then when I'm going into my final... My no overcook. No Just, overcook. I get it, okay because it's important that you're getting right, what you're, yes, very absolutely. yummy, full creamy. And what I like about risotto too, it absorbs all the, it'll absorb now, all the some, ingredients from. Yeah, now I'm adding a little bit of chicken stock mm -hmm. to it. And as that chicken is finishing, away we go. I have got now these two types of beets. I'm actually going to be putting both beets in the pan at the same time. Great source of vitamin C. We talked about that, I think, at another another episode. I've just started to steam this for a moment. Okay. It won't take much. Oh, that's, and if you could smell the beets. I love that beet smell. Mmm. And so, at this point, this risotto is... Oh, the risotto is doing well. Almost done. Almost done. I'm going to add to it now. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. Mm, nothing like cheese. Great for some costume. Nothing like cheese. I love cheese. I'll stir that in so you get this oh, kind of a thing. Oh, yes. A little bit of mushroom risotto. Okay, perfect. But I like it because it's a different type of rice, and if you're looking for something, a different consistency, it really adds variety to your menu. Yep. Breast down. And my sauce. You can smell that maple. Oh my goodness. And the Marcella augments. Oh, you, you, you sent it. And Georgette. I'm ready to go. Would you please? I always forget to take my cutlery. Okay. So what would you like me to try first? Does it matter? Want me to try the organically grown chicken? Many people feel that genetic engineering is unavoidable and that we can't afford to ignore a technology that has such enormous potential benefits. With the growing acceptance of this powerful technology, it is more important than ever that safeguards must be in place to avoid causing unintended harm to human health and the environment.